beginning of my junior year, the class of 2014, our teachers and classmates hiked Wachusett Mountain to bond with our advisories and classmates. Nature and I don't get along very well, but I thought, why not? It's an adventure, right? Challenge accepted. I thought it had been a success. I made it to the top of that mountain and participated in the class water balloon toss. I didn't even get a drop of water on my shirt. After helping cleaning up the broken pieces, I was ready to hike down with the group. However, before I realized it, everyone had already left. My dear friend and I were left to follow the path back to the group, wherever they were. How hard could it be? We could do it. We were two smart, independent women who could take on this challenge. Right? Well, it was not that easy. We used the logical thinking skills Parker had taught us to use so well, and we made our way down the trail. But at the first fork, we chose the wrong path. My friend was getting a little fretful, and so was I, especially once we hit a dead end. Oops. <laughs> what were we going to do? Probably live a life like Gilligan, but instead of on an island on Wachusett Mountain. <laughs> I had two solutions. First, brilliant idea. I pulled out my iPhone to ask Siri what I could eat in the wilderness. <laughs> but she was busy and unable to take any requests at the moment. I laughed, but my friend was not amused. So we moved on to plan B. Call our teachers and friends for help on our cell phones. What did people do before technology? Use maps and common sense? <laughs> our teachers finally picked up the phone and we were told to make our way back up the way we came. A teacher would meet us at the top of the mountain and drive us down. As we hiked up the mountain and I made my terrible nature puns, my friend, though used to my jokes, rolled her eyes and told me the situation was not funny. <laughs> Eventually, I convinced her to join in with the fun of the situation and we grabbed sticks to use as wooden staffs and rubbed dirt on our faces as we climbed back up. <laughs> we met our teacher at the top, took our victory picture, and made our way back to the group. This trip was one of my most memorable moments throughout my Parker career, and I believe it speaks to the kind of community we are. No matter how strong or independent we are, sometimes, even as adults, we're going to need a little help choosing the right path. It's wonderful to know that when we hit an obstacle, the Parker community will always be there for us, to listen, give advice, or push us towards the right path when we need them to.